So thousands of years ago, there lived a man called Sun Tzu, who wrote a book called The Art of War, in which he said that the opportunity to defeat the enemy is given by the enemy itself. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how to crack the coding knot of any company in three simple steps. And first I would like to announce that I'm also preparing a course for campus placement preparation which I'll put on YouTube. And that course will contain the knowledge of not only me but all of my seniors and friends who are placed all over the world in every company like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, you name it. And in this video, we'll be seeing how to crack the coding round in three simple steps. So I've cited a lot of companies and I've pretty much cleared the coding round of every company which I've cited for. So I can say it's not really that difficult, okay? So let's get to the steps. So the first step I have for you, or the first advice I have for you is know your battle. Now what do I mean by that? So thousands of years ago, there lived a man called Sun Tzu, who wrote a book called The Art of War, in which he said that the opportunity to defeat the enemy is given by the enemy itself. Now I want you to remember that the company wants to hire you. The company doesn't want to reject you or ridicule you. The company wants to hire you. The company is coming to hire you. And the company itself is giving you the opportunity to do that. But for that you need to know the type of problems that the company asks. Now one thing I've noticed is that every company has a pattern which it doesn't change. So if there's one company which asks only one difficult problem, then it's not going to change that pattern. Or there can be one company which asks a lot of simple but a lot of diff lot of problems, right? So that pattern is not going to change. So you need to know the pattern or the type of problems that the company asks, right? And how are you going to find that out? You're going to find that out by going on Geeks for Geeks, okay? So go on Geeks for Geeks, search the interview experience archive of that company. For example, if you're preparing for XYZ company, Google search XYZ interview experience Geeks for Geeks. Go to the archive and see the Geeks for Geeks interview experience. And if you cannot find it on Geeks for Geeks, then go on Glassdoor, otherwise you'll be, it'll be enough if you find from Geeks for Geeks. 90% of the time, the type of questions will be same, the type of problems will be same that you've seen in the interview experience in Geeks for Geeks, okay? For example, in IBM, there were SQL queries also, and I, al I had already seen that in interview experience, people had told that you know, IBM asked SQL, SQL queries. So I was well prepared for that, okay? So the type of problems normally asked are sometimes SQL queries and CS subjects, CS core subjects, MCQ. And these are operating systems, I hope you can see this. Operating systems, DBMS, computer networks, OP, these things, right? So sometimes they also ask MCQ from these topics, these core CS subjects, sometimes they ask SQL queries, okay? Next thing they ask is obviously coding problems. Okay, because it's a coding round, so obviously they're gonna have coding problems. Now there are two types of coding problems, as I like to put it. There's the normal coding problems and there's the DSA-based coding problems. Normal-based coding problems are generally easier to solve, and you can solve them by just using the basic concepts and common sense and mathematics, right? So for that, you just need to know arrays, strings, uh, maths, and math. Now, map is a very, very essential data structure, okay? I cannot stress this enough. Map in C++ and hash map in Java is very, very essential. So if you don't know map already, you need to know map, okay? Map is very, very helpful in solving problems. So normal problems usually come from array strings, map, mathematics, like LCDGs, LCMG, CD, those things. DSA problems, you need to know the data structure itself, otherwise you will not be able to solve it, okay? So for this, you need to know a little bit of theory part. First up, the, so the problem usually comes from linked lists, trees, dynamic programming, and graphs. Linked list also has queues, tags, but if you understand linked list, then you can easily understand queues and stacks, that's why I didn't write that. So you need to know the theory of linked list, you need to know how it works, you need to know the theory of trees, you need to know traverses, you need to know everything about trees, like binary search tree and those things. Dynamic programming, again, you need to know theory, you need to know the basic problems, like subset sum problem, knapsack problem, you need to know them by heart, you need to have solved them easily. And then graph, you need to know the theory, you need to know how DFS works, how BFS works, and you need to know those things, right? So once you get a clear idea of what they ask, what they want, then you can get on the practice, okay? Which is the most important part, right? So for practicing, Code Forces is my favorite website. Okay, for so normal coding problems, Code Forces is one of my favorite website. So go on Code Forces and solve all the problems till div 2c or maximum d. So the highest level of difficulty problems that I've seen is usually up to div 2d or div 2c, right? 
So go on code forces, solve div 2 a, b and c or go on ladder, just google search code forces ladder and solve all the a, b, c problems. So we need to solve minimum 30 problems I would say from a, b and c to get a clear concept you know and those problems usually contain array strings, map and maps. So that will, you'll basically cover, okay? And if you feel that it's, if it's, if you feel that it's not enough, I feel that it's enough but if you feel like you want something more, then go on Geeks or Geeks, okay? Go on Geeks or Geeks and Geeks or Geeks has problems by category, right? So array problems, Geeks or Geeks. Strings problem, Geeks or Geeks. Map problem, Geeks or Geeks. Just solve them and you'll get a good idea. Geeks or Geeks is basically the holy bible for CS students, okay? So Geeks or Geeks is very important. So after normal coding problems, you need the DSA problems for that. Obviously you have lead code, okay? Now, for every data structure in lead code, you need to solve all easy problems, all easy problems, I repeat, all easy problems, two to three medium and one hard, okay? Now how do you search the problem? Lead code, go to lead code. Next to problem, they have a search bar. Search linked list, solve all the easy problems. Search link list, solve two to three medium problems and one hard problem. If you don't understand the hard problem, at least look at the discussion, at least look at the tutorial. But solve all easy problems, two to three medium or one hard problem. Or let's make it two hard just in case, you know, and two to four medium problems. Okay, so that's how I want you to practice on lead code. Now, after you know the type of problems they ask, after you know how to practice, you need to know one more essential part of playing coding on, which is time management. This is where a lot of people mess up because a lot of companies give you only 30 minutes or give you only 45 minutes or 90 minutes, which they feel like it's not enough, okay? Now, the first thing I want you to remember, and this is obvious, go from easy to difficult. Don't start from the most difficult problem. Go from easy to your way up. If you are paying for contest on code forces, you don't go to the last problem and say, okay, you know what, I'll start from the last and go my way up. No, you start from the easiest, work your way up, okay? After that, you need to know the constraints. Now, this is also very important. What happens to a lot of people, they don't look at the constraints and they write the brute force solution, okay? And after spending half an hour writing a brute force solution, they find that none of the test cases are passing. So this is how I want you to approach. After you see the constraints, Think of an optimized approach for 10 to 15 minutes. So for 10 to 15 minutes, think of an optimized approach, grind. If you cannot think between 10 to 15 minutes, then write the brute force because chances are there will be partial marking and you need to get that at least, okay? So first, don't jump to the brute force. First, try to write an optimized approach. Between 10 to 15 minutes, if you cannot think of anything, then write the brute force. And also, if you cannot think of anything in 10 to 15 minutes, and you cannot even think of the brute force, then skip the problem. Otherwise, do write the brute force at least. And before writing the brute force, think of an optimized approach. Okay? So if you manage your time properly, start from the easiest to the difficult, manage the constraint properly, and you know, practice properly, there will be a high chance that you'll be able to clear the coding round. Okay, one more thing. For these, for OPD, OS, DBMS, computer networks, for practicing this, just go on Geeks for Geeks again, like I said, it's the holy bible, right? Go on Geeks for Geeks, look at the last minute notes. Geeks for Geeks, last minute notes, or Geeks for Geeks interview problems, okay? Interview problems and last minute notes. The most of the MCQs come from these only. Geeks for Geeks, last minute notes. Geeks for Geeks, operating system, last minute notes. Geeks for Geeks, operating system, interview problems, okay? And for practicing SQL, if you want to practice SQL, then the best website I feel for this is W3Schools. If you know W3Schools, you don't need to know anything else. W3Schools is the best website for practicing not only SQL theory, but SQL queries as well. Okay, so SQL you can practice from here, and the core subjects you can practice from Geeks on Geeks. Okay, so that's it basically. So I guarantee you, if you practice with enough dedication, if you seriously practice with enough dedication on code forces, you're grinding on lead code, you're solving all the problems, then you'll be able to crack the coding round of any company with ease. You know, it won't even be difficult for you. Okay? So that's all I have for you. Be on the lookout for the new course that I'm making. And just go, get your grind on, practice as hard as you can, and go crack the company you want. Okay? Thank you for watching.